Bible secrets, hidden texts and controversial stories. The Bible has changed the lives of many people and shaped or shaped the destiny of many nations over time. How well were some of the stories in the holy book understood? Bible secrets, hidden texts and controversial stories. The enigma of punishing Adam and Eve. One of the most common misconceptions about the story of the first humans is that they were expelled from the Garden of Eden. It is known that Adam and Eve were cast out because they ate the forbidden fruit that offered unseen knowledge. However, new theological research challenges the interpretation. The two were punished, in fact, for tasting the fruit of the tree of life, which would have made them immortal. Alcohol and gambling, a sin? The leaders of the Christian churches have excluded gambling and alcohol consumption from people's lives and minds, considering them serious sins. However, not a single line is noted in the holy book regarding God's punishment of the two vices. The Ten Commandments, a myth. We all know, we read them. At least we heard about the existence of the Ten Commandments. Well, there's a translation issue with the Don't Kill command. It was misunderstood in the context of Do Not Kill Without Trial which has led to the release throughout history of many crimes that were hidden behind the death penalty or self-defense. At the same time, the commandment, Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord in the wilderness, is also weak. It does not mean not cursing, but not acting in the name of God as long as we do not have that power. Did I live in a lie? The famous phrase, God helps those who help themselves, was, in fact, noted by Benjamin Franklin, one of the founders of the United States. However, many believe that the phrase is specified in the Bible. What is actually hidden on page 666 of the Bible? The truth has come out. Many people associate the 666 number group with the name of the devil. But this does not seem to be the case. It all started with a New Testament phrase, he who understands will be able to calculate the number of the beast, because it is a number that defines a person. That man's number is 666. 666 is considered an insult. It should be added that the Greek name of the Nero Empire, written in Hebrew, has a numerical value equivalent to 666. In fact, Due to its origin, it is said that the number 666 symbolizes the wickedness of the Roman Empire. In time, the idea was developed. Today it is believed that the man with the number 666 in the lead is Satan himself. However, in the Bible or Holy Scripture published with the approval of the Holy Synod in 1988, on page 666 are several verses from the book of Ecclesiastes of Solomon, the wise king, some of which are, it's time to cry and it's time to laugh, it's time to mourn and it's time to dance. It is time to throw stones and time to gather stones, it's time to hug and it's time to run away from hug. It's time to dump her and move on, it's time to dump her and move on. It is time to break and time to sew, it's time to shut up and it's time to talk. It's time to love and it's time to hate. It is a time of war and a time of peace. What is the use of the one who works in the toil he takes upon himself? I have seen the tumult that God hath given to the sons of men to be wroth. God made them all beautiful in their time. He has put eternity in their hearts, but without man being able to comprehend the work that God does from beginning to end. Ecclesiastes, chapter 3, verses 4 to 11. The Bible code that hides events that might happen in the future. Daniel 12-4 But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words, and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Then many will read it. And the knowledge will increase. The Bible has always been the book, the bearer of God's word. Neither the destruction of Jerusalem nor other calamities, be they natural or man-made, have succeeded in destroying it for several millennia. Over time, People have studied it, listened to it, and some have applied it in their lives as a guide to righteous living and obedience to God's word. It has always aroused man's curiosity to know, but also his desire to explore the deep meanings contained in it. And behold, in our time it has been discovered that the Bible is codified. Many may have suspected the existence of a secret Bible code.
But among them, the one who first understood the mechanics of our solar system and discovered the force of gravity, Sir Isaac Newton, was convinced that there was a secret code in the Bible that revealed the future. He learned Hebrew and spent half his life trying to find it. Newton was still searching for the Bible code when he died, but his search was in vain. In the middle of the 20th century, a rabbi from Prague, named Weismandel, found the first sign of coding. He discovered the word, Torah, the name given by the ancient Jews to the Pentateuch. The first five books of the Bible, attributed to Moses, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers and Deuteronomy, codified in Genesis. He noticed that if he jumped from 50 to 50 letters, he would find the word Torah in the Exodus and Numbers and Deuteronomy. It is important to note that these attempts at decoding were made in the Hebrew texts of the Old Testament. As it is preserved in, it seems, the only copy of the original book, which exists in the National Library of Israel. So the code exists, but only in Hebrew. The language in which the Bible was written. Meanwhile, in Jerusalem, Dr. Eliyahu Rips, a genius mathematician, developed a complex mathematical model that, when implemented by a computer program, confirmed that the Old Testament is indeed codified. When Eli Rips was at a standstill, he met the physicist Whitstam who completed the mathematical model. The report of their initial experiment was entitled, Sequences of Letters Equidistant in Making. Later, a U.S. government national security agency cryptographer named Harold Garns believed that the Bible code story was ridiculous nonsense, developed his own computer program, and with it, the Pentagon cryptographer independently reproduced the results of the Israelis. He was shocked. The Bible code was real. Garns said at the time, at first I was 100% skeptical. I told myself the whole story was stupid. I decided to deny the existence of the code and I ended up confirming it. Once the real existence of the Bible code was confirmed, a lot of events and people, places and facts were discovered, happened in the history of mankind or, attention, that were to take place. It is important to note that the Bible is like a huge puzzle, of which, for the time being, only tiny parts have been decoded, but, without a doubt, more than conclusive. The code deciphers events thousands of years after the Bible was written, such as World War II, the Apollo program, the assassination of Kennedy in Dallas, the Watergate affair, the start of the Gulf War, and the assassination of Yitzhak Rabin was discovered a year before the attack. All of these and countless others exist in the Bible and have been decoded. Names, dates and events that took place are mentioned. Man on the Moon is coded in Numbers 1920-27-1. to The phrase, Spaceship, intersects these words and is coded in Numbers 22-25. Due to the decoding we can see that in the Bible written thousands of years ago, the date, July 1994, is mentioned in Hebrew. 8 Av and the name of the comet, Shoemaker-Levy, which collided with the planet Jupiter, codified in Genesis 30-41-31-1. The event, which took place on July 16, 1994 and was studied from Earth, was predicted in the Bible Code 3,000 years before it occurred. After decoding, many names and words appear, including, Hitler, the Holocaust, Shakespeare, Edison, Newton, Einstein, Oklahoma, communism, dinosaur intersecting with asteroid, and many more, accompanied by data or descriptions stoned of their action. The question is, who could have known all this thousands of years before they were produced? There is only one common sense answer, their creator, God. All existing Hebrew Bibles are identical, letter by letter. The Talmud states that if a copy of the Torah contains even a single wrong letter, the book cannot be used and must be buried. Why would this lack be so important? If not to make it possible to apply a code that, it is known, with a single wrong sign, cannot be applied and cannot decipher anything. The computer program of the Bible code used the universally accepted version of the original Hebrew text. As such, 
It is out of the question that information about the contemporary world may have been encoded in a book that already existed 2,000 years ago, in exactly the same form as we know it today. Countless mathematicians, world experts in Hebrew literature, independent experts, and, most importantly, some who believe in God, others are skeptics or atheists, have come to agree that the Bible contains hidden information about the history of the world. Be decoded. You must not believe that if you open your Bible in a certain place, where you are told that the year 2012 is mentioned, say, you will find it. It is true that this year, too much has been said, appears with the comet and the destroyed earth, the first in Deuteronomy 1-4, the second in Exodus 34-10. But, in association with 2012, the words will appear and it will be broken or I will make it to pieces. But you will not find them because the Bible code is a computer program, and the word computer was coded in Daniel 12-4-6. Scientists, including Israelis, are unanimous in asserting and supporting the existence of this code. They believe that the Bible contains another Bible, as an integral history of mankind. And that they were all written at once, for the Creator knows His work to perfection. And if so, if God knows everything in advance, how can there be free will? Are secrets coming to light? The Vatican is shaking after a 1500-year-old Bible was discovered. Although the 1500-year-old Bible was discovered in 2000, it was kept secret at the Ethnographic Museum in Ankara. The Bible was made of wrought leather and was written in gold letters in the Aramaic dialect, the mother tongue of Jesus Christ, in which he preached and was spoken by Jews at the time. Due to the passage of time, many pages have turned black. According to the experts who evaluated the book, they are convinced that it is authentic. Religious authorities in Turkey have stated that Bible texts state that Jesus was not crucified, as was hitherto believed, nor was he the Son of God, but a mere prophet. According to the book, Jesus ascended to heaven without being crucified, being alive, and Judas Iscariot was crucified in his place. The book also talks about the fact that the Prophet Jesus foretold the coming of the Prophet Muhammad, who founded Islam 700 years later. Moreover, the text also foretells the arrival of the last Messiah of Islam, which has not yet taken place. On the other hand, the Vatican was very concerned about this discovery and asked the Turkish authorities as well as the experts of the Catholic Church to research the Bible. It seems that the Catholic Church, in the Council of Nicaea, selected the Gospels that make up the Bible today, removing some interesting passages, including the Gospel of Barnabas as well as the Dead Sea Scrolls. The Gospel of Barnabas is a book that describes the life of Jesus Christ and claims to be written by the disciple of Jesus, Barnabas, who in this work is presented as one of the Twelve Apostles. Only two manuscripts are known, both dating from the 16th century, one written in Italian and the other in Spanish. Although the Spanish manuscript is now considered lost, the text has survived only in a partial transcription from the 18th century. The Gospel of Barnabas is about the same length as the four canonical Gospels put together, further detailing the work of Jesus in spreading his teachings. In some key respects, the Gospel of Barnabas is consistent with the Islamic interpretation of the origin of Christianity and contradicts the teachings of the New Testament. The Dead Sea Scrolls were discovered between 1947 and 1956 in several caves near Kirbet Qumran and date from 250 BC. 70 AD the texts, written in Hebrew and Aramaic on tanned leather and papyrus, are on display at the Israel Museum in Jerusalem. The fragments found make up about 900 writings and belong to the ascetic sect of the Essenes, which numbered about 4,000 members. The writings contain the most complete copy of the Book of Isaiah, prayer texts, biblical interpretations, fragments of poetry, texts of wisdom, but also a list of all the burial places where the sacred and profane objects that made up the treasure of the Temple of Jerusalem before to be destroyed by the Romans in 70 AD 